Greetings, fellow YouTubers. So, I got an awesome cooking video I'll be making here in a bit. Right now, I'm working in GarageBand on my final song for the new album. The new album is entitled Hell's Advocate, and I'm going to end up offering it for free on Bandcamp. Um, let's just love it when the high E string snaps. And the high E string has snapped on both of my electric guitars, so... I'll have to wait till I get some more guitar strings before I can completely finish it, but... I'm reworking the goddamn beat. And it sounds cool, man. But, um, I found a pretty inspirational video on YouTube, and it's in my likes. It's entitled, A Day in the Life of Inter... Of Interbled Lovers. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to... To Shane and Hannah, you guys are awesome. Keep up keeping, you know. Um, now Shane has a muscular spine disease that he was born with. And this girl he met is not only his caregiver, but she's also his girlfriend. And to put things into perspective, you two... Shane is pretty much confined to a wheelchair, and he has a difficult time with the simplest of tasks. Could you imagine breaking your arm while putting a shirt on? You know, it's pretty sad to think about, but I'm not going to give him sympathy. I'm going to give him support, you know, because people like that don't need sympathy. They need support. And... Quite frankly, Hannah seems like an awesome girl, you know, despite him having his, his disorder. I can tell a lot of things, and I can just tell that despite having his disorder, you know, she brings a, a little bit of joy into his life. And if a dude in a wheelchair with a muscular spine disorder, disease, whatever you want to call it. He has a name for it. We'll watch the video. But I'm just saying, if this dude can get, if this dude can find somebody, what what's stopping you, dude? You know? This video is just motivational. Not only for finding a partner, romantically, of course, but just in life in general, you know? You see videos like this, and you could be depressed about something, but then you see it's not as bad as it could be, and you see someone else's life from a different perspective, and you're like, dude, that's rough. You know, we take so many things for granted, being able to put on a shirt without breaking our arm, let alone being able to walk, pick up things, do things, you know. So if you think you have a bad... It could be worse, as I've famously said many times over. So I'll put this video in the description box below for y'all to check out. The comments are disabled on this video, as I'm not surprised. Because people on YouTube are assholes. I hear people making all these goddamn excuses about why they can't find somebody. And I don't want to hear it. You'll find someone eventually, just, you know, worst case comes to worst, take a break from dating for a little bit and let nature do its thing, you know? But, um, yeah. Let's, uh, 
I'm going to watch a couple minutes of this video for you on camera. I did make a video talking about it on Facebook Live. And there are a couple of rather red pill lens points I want to make. And when I make these points, it's not to be mean towards Hannah or Shane. This is just what I've noticed in our society. So, this will be a nice little pipe thoughts video before my cooking video. Woohoo. But a day in the life of inter inter ebled lovers. It's in my likes if you want to check it out. I just like the video. Um, it's also going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. Just in case you're wondering what, what video is he referencing in his pipe thoughts. All right. Good morning. This is a day in our life. How do you usually start your day? All right. Time for more Halloween. Good night. <laughs> it's all I can use that. I'm not a stopper. I am Shane. And I'm Hannah. And we are in a relationship. We love to cuddle. Um, I think we start every day by snuggling in uh, a little tighter for as long as we can. And then I just like, there you go. Coffee. Yeah, that's actually what Coffee. we do. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, no, thanks. Oh, I was born with a disease called spinal muscular atrophy. Yeah, so Shane has a disease he was born with called spinal muscular atrophy, and basically you have very weak muscles, you're combined to a wheelchair your, your pretty much your entire life. Like, this is a sad video, but just seeing how happy they look like they make each other, you know, that's, yeah. In this ugly, ugly, disgusting, hypocritical, judgmental world we live in, it's nice to see something like this for a change. It's a little upbeat and, you know. And, yeah. That basically makes all of the muscles in my body extremely weak. What do you want to wear? Uh, I'll do my, the look like gray piece. And a uh, black long sleeve shirt. Is it cold today? Oh, yeah, it's freezing. It's winter, I know, so it's very cold. I'm Shane's girlfriend and also his caregiver. So we live together and I help him with just day to day activities getting up, getting dressed. To make sure I don't die. Yep, basically. keeping him alive. <laughs> Imagine if this was a one time. But you know what? Broke my arm. <laughs> I'll admit. When I first saw this video, I thought that this chick was some chick from a hospital living in or dating one of her patients. But after watching the video for a couple minutes, you know, she doesn't work for any specific hospital. You know, she pretty much lives at, lives with her boyfriend. And, you know, sex is going to be the last thing on Shane's mind, dude. Just surviving and trying to stay alive, you know, that's, that's the thing of it. And um, if you think life sucks because you're single, well, imagine having muscular disease of sorts like Shane has and where, you know what I'm saying, YouTube and that... Then you realize, oh wait, this dude needs help putting a shirt on? That sucks. She literally has to help him get dressed in the morning, carry him to his chair, helps him shower, helps him eat, you know. And that's gotta feel good, you know? It makes her feel useful because she has someone to take care of. And it makes him feel loved and appreciated because he has 
someone that's, you know, you know what I'm saying? And you, that's just the thing of it, YouTube. You can ask yourself all these questions. Why is she dating him? The biggest answer a woman would date someone like a, a man like this is because other than helping him with his life, he's not one of those boyfriends that's going to be like, give me, give me, give me, give me, you know? So maybe he's easy to date in ways that don't make him super demanding. So. But, and I hate bringing this up. This is where the red pill lens comes in. So if you're easily offended, then just pretty much turn off the rest of this video because I want to say some things that are going to make you think. Now Shane is very lucky to have Hannah. She's a very sweet girl, it seems like. However, what if, and just what if, the situation was reversed? What if it was a girl named Chantel and a guy named Hank? And what if the guy named Hank was the one taking care of the girl in the wheelchair? Do you think society would see it the same way they see Hannah and Shane's relationship? Aw, oh, that's very sweet of her. No, they won't. This is the problem with being a guy. If guys try to be nice, it's immediately taken as, oh, you're just trying to get pussy. Like, guys cannot do something nice without people assuming, oh, those two people fucked, or those two people are dating, or he's just doing that to get laid. And it's frustrating. It could be worse, but it's frustrating. You know? Which brings me to my next point. Do you think if Shane was a girl and Hannah was a guy, if the genders were switched and people saw this strapping young muscular dude taking care of some female cripple and being in a relationship with her, it'd be just as sweet as this chick doing it for Shane here. You know, it'd be just as sweet, in my opinion, it would be just as sweet as Hannah taking care of Shane. But most people wouldn't see it like that, unfortunately. The society we live in is so sexist and double standard, it's not even funny. And, and that's the thing of it. A lot of people would just, a lot of people who see a dude that dates a chick in a wheelchair or dates a chick that's retarded or dates a chick that's blind or any sort of physical disorder, a lot of people will see it as, you're just trying to get sympathy points with the opposite sex. A lot of people will see it as, that dude's just trying to impress other ladies so they can see what a nice guy he is. And it's so disgusting. Granted, yes, there are some sleazeball guys that do that kind of thing. There are some sleazeball guys, okay? There are some sleazeball guys that will date chicks with disabilities just to make themselves look nicer in front of other chicks. But does that mean they're all like that? The answer is no, they're not all like that. And the problem with being a guy and the negative stereotype of all guys want is sex, you know? Which leads to a toxic culture where if men try to be gentlemen, and treat women with respect. They're chastised for it. And then women turn around because, why can't men just be nice to me? They try to be nice to you and you treat them like shit. You assume they're just trying to rape you or get down your fucking pants. Yeah, some guys are like that and it sucks. But not all guys are like that, you know what I'm saying? So maybe to all the guys out there who think it's all about just getting laid. No, it's not. No, the fuck it's not, dude. Look at Hannah and Shane's relationship. No, the fuck it's not. If you're a girl and you're whining because you can't find nobody, 
Maybe because you're too fat, maybe your tits are too small, maybe your ass is too flat. Who gives a shit? Those are excuses. Shane has a girlfriend. He doesn't let his disorder stop him from having companionship. So what the fuck is stopping you? What up, bruh? Oh, I'm at home making some videos. What are you up to? Yeah, I'll come over and help you out here in a bit. Um, I'm going to make myself something to eat after this video, and then I'll be up there. Okay. Sounds like a plan, bro. All right, man. Talk to you later. All right, later. Later. Well, Alex is staying with some friends of his who are also friends of mine, and they need a little bit of help cleaning their house. Cleaning is not exactly my favorite thing to do, but because they're friends of mine, I help out. You know? I do it because it's a nice thing to do, and I don't, I don't do it because I expect something out of it. Let's think of it. You know, that, that's just exactly my fucking point, YouTube. Why can't people just do a nice thing and not expect anything from it? Just do a nice thing because it feels good to help people. You know, fuck, it's irritating. Just that um, my friend Renee's husband just got out of the hospital with stage four COPD, and um, if that house is not cleaned, he'll have a hard time breathing. And it never hurts to help people out, you know. And that's just the that's just the thing of it, YouTube. I try to be a good person and help people out when I can. And I don't expect nothing from it. And I've seen life reward me in many times for my good deeds when I didn't ask for it. I don't have to ask for it. I just know that karma's got my back, man. And you know what's funny is when chicks perceive me to be a creep and I'm just like... Huh, watch this Pipe Thoughts video. I think otherwise. The same chicks, this, these same girls who judge me for being creepy because of, of the way I dress. Oh, he dresses goth. That's just creepy. Ugh. These are the same chicks that will throw a bitch fit when summertime hits. They don't want to have a bunch of boob sweat, so they wear a low-cut t-shirt. So their girls can breathe. And then they get called a slut and a whore because they're wearing a low-cut t-shirt. And then they'll sit there and bitch. Why are people judging me for the way I dress? It's so unfair. I'm just trying to dress comfortable because I like the way I dress. And it's hot outside. And then they'll think back. Oh, wait. I was judging that one dude for dressing goth. Oh. I did do a cooking video earlier. It's been uploading for a couple days. I made it over the weekend. And, um, I'm hoping it uploads soon because, um, it should upload soon. It was processing and about 19 minutes left until it was done processing. 
So it should be done processing soon. Oh, it's just about there. 95% processed. Very good, very good. So if you want to check out Shane and Melissa, or Hannah, I mean, God damn it. I'm sorry, I got the, I'm, I'm horrible with names. But yeah, if you want to check out Shane and Hannah's awesome, awesome love story, I'll put a uh, link in the description box below. I finally figured out what Shane is diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. His girlfriend Hannah lives with him and and is also his caregiver. You know. I know for a fact if Shane was capable of doing more to provide for his girlfriend, he would. You know. But right now he's providing by being, you know, a, a soulmate, companionship, you know. But like I said, if the genders were reversed, people wouldn't see it as a sweet story. They'd be like, oh, well, you're just using her for sex because you're a guy, right? And that's because men will take advantage of this whole nice guy approach, you know, and when men take advantage of that, women get stuck thinking, women will get stuck thinking, well, this guy turned out to be an asshole. And then she'll think all guys are the same. And then she'll think, well, I got no choice. She'll think I have no choice but to date an asshole because there's not there's not a decent person out there. So sometimes women don't voluntarily choose to date assholes. Sometimes it just, it just happens, and it makes guys look bad. There are a lot of decent guys out there, and <laughs> and it's disgusting the way people get treated. Pretty much all I have to say on this, on this pipe thoughts. Um, see, love is not an emotion, it's a commitment. And if Hannah didn't love Shane, do you think she would be committed to helping him out every day? Thanks for watching. Shane and Hannah, you guys rock. And um, I'll keep you all updated on the cooking videos as they come. Man. Thanks for watching, Tubes. I'll catch you later.